All right, so today everybody, oh wait, I forgot to say hello. Okay, hey listen, so we have a, uh, a Milwaukee uh, tool here, and uh, I think this is a common failure. It just doesn't seem to hold the bit anymore. This is a quarter inch uh, Milwaukee impact driver, and it's uh, uh, should be uh, model number 2757-20. So 2757-20, and it's the uh, you know the one key Bluetooth. No idea why you'd want to have Bluetooth on your uh, tool, at least from my use cases and many others I've ever seen. So I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, this is a common failure. Um, we got to figure this out. Let's let's see what we can do. All right. So the first thing is uh, there's a little ball ball, little tiny metal ball bearing that sits in there that kind of grabs onto the end of this and <clears throat> holds it in place. What I noticed, right, when I shined a light down inside of there, I can't see it and my camera will never ever give me the quality to zoom down that nicely, but inside of here is a ball bearing and I don't see it, it's just like not there. So. I wish, I wish I can get the best view for you. Come on, come on. Some, no, I can't. All right, great. I'm gonna give up. So it's down inside of there, and it's missing. So we need to figure out what happened, and can we re we replace it or fix it? Okay. All right. So I don't know what's going on there. So, uh, I just wanna see. It looks a little dirty right here with a little brake parts cleaner in the very front right here. Don't fit your glasses. Right. In other words, I'm trying to figure out well, how do I get this off. But it's pretty grimy right here, so I think I need some forced air. Okay, so I got my baking pan. I'm not gonna bake the tool, but I can tell you one thing. After cleaning this, what I notice is uh, there is a, let me can see it right here. There's a little tiny ring that sits right down inside there around here. And that kind of holds things together. My concern is I'm going to try to pry it off and it's going to go flying. So right in here, that's the gap right there for the ring. Let's try to pull it out and see. So just hopefully it won't... Uh... And get it out without it disappearing on us. And then if you want to know, uh, Milwaukee's customer service is really good. They will, uh, you know, you can do like a return merchandise, off, no, actually more like a repair request for their tools. Um, so that's a possibility if you're in a situation like this. So I am, I kind of like need to stop it from spinning, or at least get underneath it. Let's see, yeah, I can't, I need to kind of pry up under it. So I need to separate it from both sides. I don't know what I have to do that yet with. Maybe both of these. In an ideal situation, I would clamp this in the vise. But like I said, I'm scared it's gonna go fly in this little retainer ring. Yeah, let's, let's 
thing's going to fight me. Oh. oh, I saw it come off, and then I was like, oh, that's going to go flying. Oh, yeah. Just from the way I was holding it, and then I had to stop. You know I'm going to poke myself, right? You're just waiting for it to happen, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Gosh. Well, that's, that's a good sign. Oh, there we go. We did it. All right, so we got the retaining ring, a washer. So retaining ring, washer. Can remember the order. Then we have a, a spring. I guess that would be the collet. Very French word. Okay. Oh, well. Can you see? <laughs> There's no. Unless I'm losing my mind. There is no ball. So, right here. Yeah, there you go. Right there. There should be a ball. And that ball. The ball bearing should push back and hold. Uh, it must have flew out, kind of probably worn down and just flew out, you know. All right, so let's see how we can get a check uh, a ball bearing back in there. Uh, this is going to be a four millimeter ball bearing. Just want to give you a good close up view of it. So right in there, there should be a ball bearing. Right, and uh, that's what grabs the socket. But there isn't any in there, so. It must have fell out. So that's, that's what it looks like. So we need to figure out how it sits. Does it sit like in this groove here on this side? Not really sure to think about it. Or does it go inside, down? Mm. Think, I'm thinking it's gonna go inside and down because, well, not really. I don't. I don't know. Let me think about it. Because something has to stop it from falling back out. So I'm thinking that it's gonna be inside that groove. I gotta see if that groove has a channel to hold it. All right. Bear with me as we figure this one out. So it took a little bit of while, a little bit of time, and uh, I did find a nice parts diagram for this. It wasn't clear how this was put together, but uh, I got some other information to kind of help me out. So this spring kind of slides. Mm hmm. We're gonna. Okay. So the spring itself slides back this way. And the ball bearing sits right there. So before we do that, let's clean this up. You know. Okay. diagram was that uh, it actually told you the size of the, the ball bearing it is indeed four millimeters so 
I'll uh, put a link to it for you. All right, so we should be able to get this back together quite easily. Um, all right, how are we gonna do this? Uh, all right, here's our ball bearing part number. I believe they are uh, stainless steel. I'm not sure, but anyway, here's our part number. X002C5R C S F. Okay. And uh I'll put a link in the description below so you can acquire it. And uh I have a feeling we shouldn't grease this, you know, just because of the nature. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we should put any grease in here. Um believe you want to keep this as debris free as possible you know what I mean so let's not do that let's put it back together I want to do it in a way that will lower my chances of failure okay so let's get these out Hopefully this doesn't fail this many times, but if you have a tool like this with the same problem, you can send it to me and I'll fix it for you. You got to pay for the shipping and handling, of course. Alright. Or well, maybe I'll just mill you a ball bearing. Nah, probably won't do that. Anyway. Oh! Uh, <laughs> not a job for gloves. Okay, so it's not particularly magnetic, so it makes me feel there's a, maybe some aluminum in there I'm unaware of. Okay, so, can we, what kind of light, I want you to see, but I don't want, let me turn that off, and that's going to ruin it for you. Too shadowy. I don't know if you're gonna see anything. All right, so we're gonna kind of pull this back. No, pull the spring back. Drop that down in there. Bam! Just like that. Okay. And that's how that stays. Can you see? There you go. So you just pull the spring back and then drop the ball bearing in there. Now that should stay. So let's test it. Oops. That won't work because <laughs> it needs something on the outside. Right, let's kind of put it back together and then, uh, then we'll test it. Right, so I've learned some tricks from years of disassembling, disassembling things. See, like I have this in order. Right, so you just, when you pull stuff apart and it's complicated, you know, you take a video, photo, all this stuff, and then you just kind of put it back together the way you, you lay it out the way you uh, pull it apart. So that way it gives you a chance to, to get it right, you know. So that was on first. Oh, let's watch this schmoop. Okay. So that was on first. Right. I don't like how dirty this is. I'm not sure why. Dirty, but let's clean that out. Okay, so that's on first. There we go. Everything is clean. There's a lot of stuff everywhere. Spring on. Spring's dirty? How's that possible? All right. I think I need to take my gloves off. This is, uh... I don't even like this hoodie on. That's just too much stuff. All right. 
we're gonna need some light. Sorry if it ruins it for you, but um, washer. All right. Then we need this retaining ring right here to go on top of the washer. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. No, that wasn't too bad. Oh my God, that was not too bad at all. Let's just make sure that's sitting in the groove. So it has to spin, yes, it spins. Okay. So now when I look down inside of here, you can see, uh, yeah, I don't know. There is a, can you see? There you go. Now there's a ball bearing right in there. All right, let's see what this, how this operates. Show me. If we did a good job, it'll work. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. See that? Fixed. And that's a $5 repair. No shipping and handling. Four millimeter ball bearing. I wonder if we could have gone a little bit larger with the ball bearing. I don't know, you know, but what I can tell you is that a, a nice design improvement would be to have two ball bearings that kind of clamp the uh, the chuck. But I don't uh, know if they have such a thing. Either way, this is a massive improvement. It actually holds now. All right. All right, good. Hey, if you like the video, go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up, or a thumbs down, whatever. Have a conversation, a critical conversation. I don't respond to stupid, aggressive stuff. It don't make sense. Um, yeah, and I'll definitely engage you. Uh, but other than that, that was an easy repair. And I, s I think this is a common failure. That's all I can tell you. I, I don't know why it's uh, this poor design. But either way, these, are, these tools are great. I love them. That works. Push that back in. That stays. Release. That works. Okay? So, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next video, and I hope this helps someone.